Here you are, coming back to the terminal, the end of the day. And brother, it's been a busy day. A day filled with stopping, turning, starting, shifting, signals, pedestrians, a hundred other things. You finished up eight or more hours of city driving and all kinds of traffic. And now that you're back, how does the end of the day look to you? Are you grouchy, irritable, worried about another day of the same darn thing? Or are you still showing some pep and smiles? Happy to have the kind of a job that you have. <laughs> what do you suppose makes this difference in drivers? We're all professionals, yet one guy is always fighting traffic, making it tough on himself. The other guy relaxes. He doesn't fight traffic. He flows with it. He's a smooth operator. And fellas, that's the answer. Smooth operation. That's what can help all of us in just about the toughest league of them all, city driving. Just how tough city driving is depends a lot on us. So now, let's take a look at this driving job and let's see what there is to it. We've got some pictures here and some questions about our daily driving. In other words, we've got a quiz. Think you know the answers? The things you meet up with when you're behind the wheel? We'll take five seconds for each question. You ready? Let's go. Here's the first one. How many miles do you cover in an average day? Look at the figures we have up there on the screen and pick the one that you think is right. Okay, let's go on to the next one. How many traffic lights do you meet in an average day? Go on, pick your answer. Okay, then let's have the next. How many stop signs do you meet in an average day? You ready for the next one? Here it is. How many times do you make a left turn at an intersection each day? Next, how many times do you turn right at intersections? Now, answer this one. How many times do you back up in an average working day? And now for the last one. How many times a day do you park? Okay, now let's go back for the answers. <laughs> you might have known it. The right answer was the highest number in each case. That's right. Studies show that on the average, you do drive 42 miles every day. And brother, that's a lot of driving. And here's why. You meet up with 113 signal lights and 40 stop signs in those 42 city driving miles. You make 105 left turns and 90 right turns, all at intersections only. We're not even counting the turns out of alleys and driveways. It's necessary for you to back up an average of 107 times every day. And you park 90 times a day, but wait a minute. Every time you park, you have to unpark. So it's actually 180. And there's your job. Tough? Well, it can be plenty tough for the traffic fighter. But it doesn't have to be tough, fellas. And it's not for the driver who knows the answer. Smooth operation. That's the secret to this whole business of commercial vehicle driving. Now just what does smooth operation consist of? Well, just three things. One, your vehicle. Two, traffic. And three, you. Now of course these three things are present in any traffic situation. But it's the way you fit them together the way you coordinate them that results in smooth operation. You can't have smooth operation if you treat your truck like this. You can't have smooth operation if you behave this way in traffic. And you can't have smooth operation if you're at odds with the world, if you let yourself get all worked up, like this guy. Okay, 
Smooth operation depends on properly coordinating your vehicle, traffic, and you. Just think about that for a minute. Your vehicle, your truck, is the tool of your trade. It's an expensive machine worth thousands of dollars. <laughs> Matter of fact, it costs more than you'd pay for your own car. And this truck of yours, whatever type it is, is engineered to operate at a certain pace. Now, light trucks are speedy, heavy ones are slower. And whether the truck is loaded or empty makes a big difference, too. Look, your truck just isn't made to stand up under quick jackrabbit starts like this. It can't take those fast two-wheel turns, either. Nor these sudden stone wall stops. Hot rod driving is mighty tough on any machine. Your truck can't take it, and neither can you. Wear and tear driving just doesn't pay off, so give yourself a break. Respect your vehicle, loaded or empty. Don't try to make it do things it wasn't built to do. Treat it right. It's the best partner a professional driver can have. Now, traffic. That's the second part of smooth operation. And the more traffic there is, the more important smooth operation is. If you were the only driver on the street, driving that truck would really be a snap. Nothing to it. But you're not. You've got lots of company. And you can't control all those cars and trucks. Nobody could. But you can't forget them either. So what you do is this. You adjust your vehicle to other traffic for speed and for direction of movement. And you do it every mile, every minute, every second you're behind that wheel. All day long, you're meeting up with all sorts of things, things that force you to change your speed and movement. Take the guy ahead as an example. You're driving along when, without warning, he stops. And there you are, right on top of him. And then some darn fool cuts you off, swears in from the left. And a few minutes later, somebody else cuts in from the right. Each time, you had to adjust your vehicle, hit your brakes, or cut your speed, or do some dodging to prevent an accident. An accident that could have happened because of the guy ahead. But now, how about the other guy? You know, the guy behind. What do we do to protect ourselves from him? We make no sudden starts, turns, or stops. That's what. In other words, when we change speed or direction in any kind of traffic, do it gradually. That's the main idea and use your signals. Let the other guy know what you're gonna do. Suppose you're this driver. You're on a one-way street and it's plenty busy. You wanna change lanes. What should you do? That's right, give the signal, make sure everything's clear, and then change lanes, gradually. That's the right way to handle a change in direction. But now, what about speed? The idea of making time. Here, for instance, this passing in city driving. And this, uh, this lane weaving, it's even worse. Worse on your nerves, worse on other traffic, and leads to plenty of accidents that hurt and kill. Yep, the straight line is still the shortest way to get between any two points. So we should stay in one lane, the right lane, as often as we can. And there are three good reasons to back us up on this. First, keep to the right as a general rule of traffic. Second, Commercial vehicles belong naturally on the right because of their slower pickup. But the third reason is best. Watch these next two pictures, taken only a few seconds apart. The arrow shows an approaching driver who is sticking to the right, as he should, while a second driver, already at the intersection, is in the inner lane. Now, watch what happens when the light changes. The truck in the proper lane goes right on through, while the other truck is stuck behind traffic. This is the most important reason for sticking to the right, for traffic studies show us that the right lane usually moves faster through intersections, and you make better time. As for the lights, well, <laughs> you really can't beat them, so why try? You're gonna hit half of those lights green. That's a 50-50 chance, and that's mighty good. And in some places, your chances are even better. Like here, where the signals are set for a certain speed. If you keep to this speed, you'll be able to flow with the lights, smoothly. And look, speed limits are important. City streets can carry just so much traffic in a given time. That's why they hire traffic engineers, to figure out these limits, 
to move traffic as fast as possible with safety. They're not trying to slow things down. The speed limit set for any street represents the maximum safe speed under normal conditions. So stay at the legal speed in the right lane and adjust your truck to the other traffic. Now for the third point of smooth operation, you. Where do you fit into smooth operation? What are the things you do that affect your driving? All right, let's look at you. Hey, wait a minute. This can't be you, the speed demon, the guy who races traffic. He's always in a hurry, no matter what. And this can't be you, can it? Why, this guy's like a spoiled kid if he can't have his own way. He just hasn't grown up. Heck, this can't be you either. Why, this boy's a lazy driver. He just can't take the time and effort to stop and shift and then get started again. No, you're not any of these, we hope, because the speed demon, the lazy driver and the guy that hasn't grown up, they don't know how to flow with traffic. They're all traffic fighters. They think all the traffic's against them. While the truth is, they're against traffic. With you, we hope the story is a lot different. You're a guy who knows he's got a job to do, a guy who wants to do it right and who wants to play the game according to the rules. If you're a smooth operator, you've got a sportsmanlike feeling toward the whole business. You've got the right attitude toward everything we've said about driving. You respect your vehicle because it's your truck, the tool of your trade. You respect the guy in front. You're ready for anything he might do. You respect the guy behind. You let him know whenever you have to adjust for speed or for direction. You make no sudden starts, turns, or stops. It would be confusing to other traffic. You get in line and you stay in line. No unnecessary passing or racing. You stick to the right lane because you know that's where commercial traffic belongs and because you know the travel will be smoother in that lane all day long. And you take the lights as they come because you know they're with you as often as they're against you. All these things combined add up to smooth operation. The perfect coordination of your vehicle, traffic, and you. But now let's hold on just a minute. Let's get back to that problem of time. It may seem like you're always racing the clock, racing traffic, never have enough time. You're always tempted to push up your speed, make time in traffic. And then one day, yes, you have an accident. You risked your neck and you didn't make it. Don't try to make up time in traffic. Save time instead in a very simple way. Just do this. Have your route already planned before you start out so you can make all your stops in the most logical sequence. Then wherever possible, try to pick the route with the least congestion. And every time you make a pickup or delivery, don't lose time chewing the fat. Those are all points of smooth operation. The key to good driving. The key to a better day, a safer day, an easier day. Smooth operation is working for lots of fellows. Let it make your job easier for you.